Now, the scientist who did discover the green fluorescent protein shared in this Nobel Prize for chemistry, but even he wasn't looking for that. And, and explain how he found it and discovered it. It wasn't through logic. You think science is all logic? How did it happen? So definitely not the usual scientific method, although all to, a lot of times it, it, this is the real way science is done. Osama Shimomura was interested in a fun, just a, a wonderful fundamental question. How is it that some organisms can actually make light? Fireflies, glowworms, bacteria, fungi, crustaceans, and a jellyfish that he was interested in. And this jellyfish produced a wonderful green light, and he tried to understand to find the protein that made that light. So he goes into the lab, he works a very long time, and this is going to be a constant refrain, it didn't work. Nothing worked <laughs> at all. He goes and he tries and tries and tries. Finally, one evening, he's, wait, he's worked well into the night, he's tired, it's failed again. He takes all the samples, he throws them away in the sink because they're of no use to him. The sink has jellyfish parts, some other stuff, and some seawater. He turns off the light and he's about to go home when he looks back at the sink and it's glowing brightly. <laughs> and he goes and he thinks about it and he says, oh, it's seawater, it has calcium. I never had any calcium. He tests that out a couple days later and sure enough, it's calcium. So a complete accident, throw it in the sink, it's a great way for a Nobel. 